Hi there, I'm Scott with B&H. You might notice that I'm not in the studio today. What you should notice instead are these two monitors, both of which are the Asus Pro Art Display PA2078 CFRV. They are 27-inch QHD IPS displays that are designed to be color accurate out of the box. More specifically, they are Kalman verified with a delta E value of less than 2. So, I use them as the foundation for a decent color grading suite. I recently moved apartments, so I had a blank canvas with which to make this setup here so as not to take up space in the office and to give myself more control over the environment. So I have the monitors, I have the space, I have the personal desktop computer and accessories. What I needed next was footage to work with. Recently, my esteemed colleague Peter was tasked with showing off the Panasonic GH7's new RE Log C3 integration. Perfect. I signed on to do the edit and to help with the color grade. My setup was given a purpose. So let's take a look at these Asus ProArt PA278 CFRVs. They are 27 inch 1440p 16 by 9 IPS displays. They have a peak brightness of 400 nits, a max contrast ratio of 3000 to 1, 8-bit color rendition, a refresh rate of 100 hertz, and come with a bevy of certifications like VESA MediaSync, Display HDR400, and most importantly, they are Kalman verified to have a Delta E value of less than 2 with 100% sRGB coverage and 95% DCI-P3 coverage. That last bit is why we're focusing on creative work involving color. These are certified to be color accurate out of the box. This sheet of paper is the certification that the Kalman engineers gave this monitor. This sheet of paper, paired with the 95% DCI-P3 coverage, is the reason that we're here today. So, what is color accuracy and why does it matter? There's an age-old question that everyone asks at some point, usually on a playground or in a college dorm. Have you ever, like, thought about if the way that I see blue is different than the way you see blue? Like, whoa, right? While I don't have the background in physics, ophthalmology, or neurology to properly answer that question, I can easily and confidently say that different devices do display colors in different ways. This can be affected by what display it uses, what OS it runs, how a GPU handles the video information, and even what app the image is being shown through. When making visual content, the best way to ensure that the end result will look as good as possible for the most viewers as possible, it helps to work on a display that can match human perception of color as closely as possible. Earlier, I said that these displays have a delta E value of less than 2. If you don't know what delta E is, it's the metric of how closely the color the display renders matches the color that was input into the display. Lower is better, with loose guidelines of delta E values that are below 1 being imperceptible indifference, delta E values between 1 and 2 being perceptible but really only under very close scrutiny, and delta E values between 3 and 10 have increasingly noticeable differences but could still be suitable for consumer products. The scale goes up to 100, with 100 indicating that the rendered color is the full inverse of the input color. These ProArt displays have a delta E value of less than 2, which is great for our use case of doing work involving color grading. Other notes on my workspace. I have an I.O. device to ensure a clean and accurate video feed to the monitors. I have a 6500K bias light behind the reference monitor and a middle gray backdrop. The bias light helps ease eye fatigue compared to working in the dark, while the 6500K color temperature and gray backdrop helps to minimize ambient colors affecting how the human eye perceives color. When common engineers certify devices for color accuracy, it is in an environment similar to this. If you need more ambient light in the room, keep it to 6500K as well and make sure that it is dim and not positioned in a way that creates glare for your reference monitor. Fortunately, ProArt PA278 CFRV displays use Asus's LuxPixel technology, which is touted as being anti-glare with low reflection. Of course, monitors are more than just their display. It helps to also have good connectivity and ergonomics. The ProArt PA278 CFRV has one USB port capable of using DisplayPort protocols and 96 watt power delivery, and two DisplayPort 1.4 ports that allow for daisy chaining monitors. 
one HDMI 2 port, and if you need a USB hub, and who doesn't, there are three USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports and a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port. Also a 3.5mm audio jack. I'm a big believer in good ergonomic practices, so let's look at the included stand too. There is a 130mm range for height adjustment. It can be tilted between negative 5 and positive 23 degrees, has a swivel range of 60 degrees, and can pivot 90 degrees in either direction to be used in portrait mode. So this is the setup I created while the GH7 shoot was still in pre-production. I'm pretty happy with it, but parameters can change, and if you do product reviews, sometimes companies can send you more products to look at. Like, did you know that monitors aren't the only devices in Asus's Pro Art lineup? For instance, they also have laptops, like this StudioBook Pro 16. Of course, I wanted to integrate this laptop into my already in progress color suite, but I also think that it deserves its own space. So, catch me in the follow up video. I'm Scott with BH, and in the meantime, keep it fun out there, y'all.